Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Jay Rado. I'm reporting to you live. Today's date is July 20th, 2012. And the reason for me making this commentary right now is I'm sure everybody's very aware of these shootings that happened in Colorado today at the theater for the Batman premiere. Now, I'm a type of person that I'm a, I'll admit it, I'm a slight conspiracy theorist. I'm a type of person who, oh, you know, I heard about the 9-11 conspiracy, all that different type of stuff, but that's not the reason why I made this video right now. The reason why I made this video is because I woke up this morning and I heard about what had happened, and uh, it was just all the facts that's going on with this shooting did not was not just only adding up to me, but there's something else that's going on that kind of made sense to why this happened. Now, first of all, I'm not sure if any, everybody knows about what happened with um, Obama's going to be signing the International Arms Treaty exactly a week from today, on July 27th. And that's the same day that the Olympic Games are going to start. Now, anyway, the International Arms Treaty is going to be a ban that is going to keep guns out of the hands of Americans and people around the world. So that is not only totally shitting on our Second Amendment right, but it is a way to keep us as Americans or as people from being able to defend ourselves against enemies, whether they're foreign or domestic. So basically, anywho, I hear about this shooting that happened up at this theater. Now, I'm the type of person I can understand that, you know, there are crazy fucked up people out there that do crazy fucked up things. But the facts for this shooting are just not adding up that way. Now, first off, when I heard about this shooting, I was just thinking it's kind of weird that it happens in Colorado, not too far from where Columbine happened. Uh, it happened on the 20th, just like Columbine happened. And uh, people don't realize that's happening a week before a gun ban is about to get signed. So all this is not adding up to me. This sounds to me like our government or whoever is using our own fear to perpetuate total chaos in our brains to get people to outlaw guns or to keep guns out of people's hands, period. Now, if you're like me and you believe that no matter how many shootings happen or, happen or anything, that we still as people should have the right to own guns and protect ourselves, then you should be listening to this video and honestly we as people should put our feet down and say, you know what, we are not going to believe this bullshit that's being pitched to us anymore. Now, I can go all day with conspiracy theories, I can sit here and I can tie this into a million different things, but I'm not going to do that right now. All I wanted to do was put a commentary out there to get other people thinking and looking into this. I'm not asking you to totally believe what I'm saying. I'm asking you to look into it for yourself and for you to decide whether what's going on is what I'm saying or if it's total bullshit. It's up to you to decide. It's not up to me to make your minds up for you. I want everybody to look into this and see that this is some bullshit. I'm telling you right now, they are using a, the biggest terrorist, like my man Lupe Fiasco said, is Obama. Obama is a fucking terrorist. And so is the rest of the government. It's not just Obama. It's Bush. It's Clinton. It's all these fucking presidents that were before us. The last real president we had was John F. Kennedy, and that's why they fucking assassinated his ass. Because he was ready to do away with the Federal Reserve, he was ready to do away with these global bankers, which are running these fucking puppet-ass presidents, which are funding campaigns, which are seriously dealing us our own death. And I'm telling you right now, if people don't believe that this fucking country has been owned from day one, go look up the Act of 1871. That's what shows that we have this country has been a corporation since day one. And the president of that corporation is President Barack Obama. And I don't even know why people were even crazy enough to vote this dude in. We got bombed by somebody named Osama, but we vote in a president named Obama. People need to wake the fuck up to what's going on in this fucking country in this world. Period. I can't stand for it no more, so I was compelled to make this video, and I'm telling you right now, people need to look into what's going on and see what's going on. Now, whether we vote Obama in for another term doesn't fucking matter, because like someone always said, it's not the vote that counts, it's who counts the votes. Now, this is Jay Rado signing off, asking everybody to please look into this and see it for what it is. 
don't be fooled by the bullshit they've been pitching to us. It's all fucking lies, I'm telling you. Now, whether you believe it's lies or it isn't lies, that's up to you. All I'm asking is that you look into it and see it for what it really is. And if you don't see it for what it is, then I'm sorry if you're still sleeping.